I'm Curtis Freeman, and this is Metalworks Institute Bass Tips. We're going to talk about learning a song inside and out. And just for simplicity's sake and for the length of this video, we're going to use a real simple tune. This one's Ain't No Sunshine, a Bill Withers classic. And it's a great tune because it's called often on rock gigs, R&B, soul, jazz gigs, blues gigs. So it's a very popular tune. What we want to do here is take this example and add it to all your favorite tunes, popular tunes, songs that you play often. Um, you might be finding yourself really bored with certain songs because you play them so much on a gig. This is another way to approach them so that you get the most music out of the tune and your band gets the most out of their bass player so they're not staring off at the football game on a TV somewhere when they should be <laughs> playing the song. One way to do that is um, we already have the first part down, learning the bass line. Really focus on the groove. Listen to how it's locked in with the drummer. If you're not listening to a recording, listen to how you lock in with the drummer, if there is a drummer. Lock in with the other instruments. Listen to the melody and how you play off it. Here's the simple bass line that happens often on Ain't No Sunshine in the key of A minor. I don't know if you know this song. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Excuse my singing. It's so cold when she's away. Really simple version. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Oh, high note. Always gone so long every time she goes away. Now you want to learn the melody on your bass. Why not? It's so cold when she's away. so long every time she goes away so learn the melody on your bass that'll really help you throughout the tune if we're just playing an idea is uh, play and call and answer off the vocalist so if she's saying um, ain't no sunshine when she's gone you can go it's so cold when she's away and you play almost like a guitar would do, right? That's great. Also, learn the chords to the song. How do we play the... the... I'm not saying play chords while the song is going on, but if you know all the changes, a lot of bass players are like, oh, this is in the key of A, because the first note and the most common note they play in the song is an A. It's actually an A minor. So learn those chord tones and learn what key you're in and learn all the scales that go along with it. You'll really know the tune inside and out. So if someone calls on you to solo, you can take some quotes from the melody, add some riffs and, you, and a bit of the bass line and the floor doesn't drop out of the tune. You're gonna have like, uh, that's the problem with a lot of bass solos is all the, the groove stops and then people aren't interested. So if you're bass solo, That's incorporating everything. The notes, the chords, the melody. Do that with all the tunes you like to play. Do it with all the tunes you're playing often, all the tunes you're bored with. That'll get the most out of the music and the most out of you. I'm Curtis Freeman for Metalworks Institute Bass Tips. Thanks.